This occurring challenge is called strong password. We're going to receive a string as a parameter to the function for our solution. And that string is going to correspond to a user password. So what we have to do is process that password and find the number of minimum characters to add to the password to make it a strong password. So this is how they define a strong password. They have a few requirements. The password needs to have six characters minimum. The second one is that the password needs to contain eight digits. And the third one is that we need a lowercase character, an uppercase character, and one of these special characters. I've just pasted these characters here in Notepad just so they are more visible. But there are a few things that we need to keep in mind. For example, this is our password. So we have only two characters. We don't have an uppercase character and we are also missing a lowercase character, meaning that we need to add two more characters, something like this. But even so, our password is only going to contain four characters. We need at least six characters as they've stated right here. So this here is not going to be a valid password. We know that, but the question is, how many characters do we need to add to make it a strong password? The answer here has to be four, because even if we add something like this, and now we have all the type of characters required, we need to add more characters so that we exceed, or at least we meet that requirement right here. Here, for example, we only have special characters, so we are still missing a lowercase character, an uppercase, and also a digits. And now we have all the type of characters required, and we also meet the requirements for a length of six. So you guys can go ahead and try it with other type of passwords. But the logic here is that we need to find what is the highest value between the number of characters required to meet these first requirements of six minimum characters and the number of characters required to meet all the type of characters. So that's what I'm implementing here in my code. And I'm going to explain this right now. This here is the function for the solution. It's called the minimum number. We have this parameter called n, and we also have a string password. So if we go here to the inputs, they specify here that n is the length of the password. What I'm doing here is creating four int variables, and I'm initializing all of them to one. And this corresponds to the type of characters required to meet their requirements right here. So here I have lower equals one, meaning that we still need to find at least one lower character, lowercase character that is. Here we have upper is one, meaning we still need to find one upper character. We also need to find at least one digit and one special character inside of this string password parameter. So now I'm getting the size of my password and I'm creating a string here. This here is a string object. And to the constructor, I am passing this C string. It's a hard coded string or a C string. And this corresponds to these special characters that they've added to the instructions of this coding challenge. So now I'm looping through my string character by character, and I'm verifying if I can find any of the type of characters that I'm looking for. So if I find here an uppercase character, then this upper value becomes zero because now I don't need to find any more uppercase inside my string password. So this becomes zero because I found it. If I found a lowercase at some point in my string, then this is also going to become zero. And the same thing applies to this here, the digits. If I find the digits, then I set it to zero. And here I'm calling the find function on my S object, which I created right here. And I want to find if I'm able to find the character at the current iteration that I'm at inside of this list of special characters. So if I can find one, then special will also become zero. When I'm done here, I want to find what is the total number of type of characters that I still need to add to my string to make it a strong password. And I'm talking about this password string here. So at first, because we are missing all four type of characters, the total here is automatically four. But after going through this password string, some of them might become zero. We don't know yet. So I want to find how many special characters plus digits plus upper plus lower I need to add to my password to meet these four requirements here. Now that I have this value, I need to compare between the number of characters required for me to meet the first requirements of six characters and this total value here. Between these two, what is the maximum? Whatever is the maximum is what I'm going to return from my function. And this is what I explained here when I was giving you guys these examples. 
And I was saying that even if we find all the different type of characters, we still need to make sure that we are able to have six characters in total at the very least. So now I'm going to submit this code here. And you can see that we just pass all the test cases. So that's it guys for this hacker challenge. If you like my video, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.